at you now. It's been a one-team show so far. We'll see if that changes here in the third. Some fantastic numbers for Green. He has 11 points. And he's contributed three points from the line, too. Yeah, those are always easy points. I mean, when you can get to the line and knock them down, sometimes that's, that's the difference in the game, Clark. And that one's good. Parker. Man, a gaping hole in the defense that time, and he didn't waste any time getting through it. Has him, dishes to LeBron. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Spurs will take it. And uh, San Antonio shooting just phenomenal here tonight. 73% from the field. The shot by Duncan. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. And that's now eight points for Tim Duncan. Their interior defense has been dismal. Yeah, and unfortunately, their offense in the paint hasn't been a whole lot better. Haslam, that's good. Guys, good job working it down low and getting the high percentage look there. That's good basketball. Hey, last season, Chalmers missed a game-winning shot. That happens to a lot of guys in this league, but what he did the next game is of note. He made 10 threes in arguably his best game ever as he set a Miami Heat team record for makes beyond the arc. Kicks it to LeBron. And fouled hard that time. He'll get to the line and shoot two. Tim Duncan picks one up. And Mario Chalmers grew up in Alaska. Not too many NBA players hailing from up there. Taken with the 34th pick back in 08. He's played his entire career with the Heat. And really, it was a, a perfect situation for him when LeBron arrived because he's a kind of a combo guard. He plays the point, but he's an excellent spot-up shooter. So he can play off of LeBron and Wade quite well. Leonard attacking Parker. And the shot is good. Parker's got 14 points for the game. They've been getting it inside at every opportunity and getting results, too. It's a great formula, and it's really a sign that the offense is clicking. Heat shooting and offensive execution has been beyond great there. 63% from the floor in this game. Some nice ball movement here by the Heat. Gets it to go. Six points for Chris Bosch. Guys, that time he went for the fancy finish for us there, man. That was sweet. Here's Parker. 14 points for him. He feeds it to Duncan. And it's good in the assist by Parker. That's 10 points for Tim Duncan. You know, I don't think there's any question as Duncan is aged, he can certainly not be considered one of the top three players in the league anymore, but he's still a star. You look at the Spurs and the offensive numbers they put up, it's amazing what they accomplished without a huge scoring star to lean on. Here's Bosch. Tim Duncan grabs the miss. Duncan's got his fifth rebound in this one. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. A different look now for San Antonio. Matt Bonner, he's checked in for splitter. And it's Ginobili in four, Daniel Green. For Miami, they've gone two of three from the field to start the second half. And Clark, you talked about Duncan and the Spurs offense. He helped along with Parker to carry it, and it's a big reason why, Steve, they put up so many points and were so efficient in their offense. Well, yeah, the Spurs ended up in the top five in scoring, and they were right there with the Thunder, second best field goal percentage in the league. Uh, the Spurs have been a, an excellent offensive team now for the last five, six years. And you look at the balance, the low post game of Duncan, the shooting, the penetration. I mean, they've got it all. The kick out to LeBron. Wade, he's covered by Ginobili. Bosch passes to Wade. Feeds to Bosch. He dishes it to Aslam. Just four to shoot. Duncan with the block. Second half of play, and we're three minutes into the third here. Leonard, the open look, kept alive, and it's blocked by Bosch. LeBron outside. Wade with it, picked up by Ginobili. The kick out to LeBron. Bosch, and there's the pass to Haslam. The dish now to Wade, and there's the feed to Bosch. Back to Wade. LeBron passes to Bosch. They get a hand on it. And Parker with the block. And the shot clock expires. 24-second violation. Splitter is checked in for the Spurs. Bellinelli comes in for Kawhi Leonard. The Spurs have gotten five of eight shots to fall for them in the third quarter. A nice 62% for the field. 
Parker with it. Now defended by Cole. And Chris Anderson picks up the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Tough call there and a tough break for the defense. But, you know, I think you could still see him kind of sliding in there. I don't have a problem with the call. Come to me, come to me. Parker drives in, and that one's good. Parker's got eight points in the quarter. And that's his forte, finding that angle and then aggressively attacking the rim. Seems like every year, guys, you look at Tony Parker and he's found something else to add to his game. He's always improving. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, you'd think his team would be ahead. 156 left in the third. He kicks it to Splitter. Ellenelli. Pass to Ginobili. Here's the three. Second chance shot. Splitter, that's good. Splitter's got eight points. He was the first one to react to that miss. Excellent anticipation on his part. A hustle play on the putback by him. And Cole kicks to Bosch. Wade outside. He passes to Anderson. Back to Wade. The steal. Now oh, here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. Leads him in there. Here's Splitter. And it's D. Wade with the rebound. Wade's got his third rebound tonight. Last season for Tony Parker, arguably his best ever. 20 points a game, almost eight assists. 52% steep from the field. There was even talk in midseason about maybe MVP consideration. Well, his ability to score inside around the rim is amazing, but he's also become a master of uh, knocking down the jump shot from that 15 to 18 foot range. Uh, but really, this team has been built now around Parker. Their offensive strategy completely tailored to suit his talents. And Miami making a change here. Battier's checked in. Wade dishes to Anderson. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Wade's got his fourth assist in this one. For San Antonio, they've gone 8 of 13 on shot attempts to begin the second half. Ginobili outside. And there's the call on James. That's foul number two for him. Mario Chalmers, he's checked in for Dwayne Wade. Forty-three seconds left in the third quarter of the game. Ellenelli passes to Ginobili. Ellenelli. Here's Duncan, and that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. Duncan's got twelve. Well, I tell you what, when you get this kind of effort and efficiency from him, they're a really hard team to beat. And Chalmers kicks to Battier. Good ball movement here by Miami. LeBron dishes to Cole. Battier passes it to Anderson. No good. Solid defense right there from Tiago Splitter. And in the paint, they have really shown some strength. Their work on the boards has been phenomenal. Yeah, I'd certainly call it a mismatch, Steve, at least for today. Bellinelli gets the bucket. Gavin, too easy. I mean, the defenders were sort of looking at each other like, whose man was he? And everybody thought somebody else was going to guard him, and nobody did. And check out the bounce. Bounce? Bounce to the ounce. Clark, how about that? Yeah. All right. Showing him off right there. Good move. What does that even mean? And we welcome you back as we get going here in the fourth quarter. The final quarter of play can change everything. And a look at how the offensive approach has been going here so far for the Spurs. They've been the aggressors, and they've been tougher in the paint all game. They've been firing on all cylinders in the transition game, too. I mean, they've really run the break well. And uh, San Antonio shooting the lights out in this building, 68% from the field. Leonard attacking Duncan, the best to Leonard. Joseph, this is to Decola. Pass to Duncan. And there's the whistle, fouled hard on the shot. He'll go to the line. Well, you know, Tim Duncan really is a coach on the floor, guys. He knows every play in their playbook, uh, front to back, and position one through five. Um, I think he could coach the team if he had to. And for Duncan and this Spurs team, that continuity and, and, and veteran leadership, such a huge part of their success. Well, when you have the same coach and the same core of, of star players over almost two decades, that's pretty remarkable. That that continuity is exactly what gives the Spurs that uh, uh, that sustained success that it, that they've enjoyed for such a long period. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. 
Boris Diaz checked in for San Antonio. And Chris Anderson picks up the foul. That's foul number two for him. Frustration foul there. You've got to maintain your composure. Yeah, he lost his cool there, Steve. I mean, you can understand it, but you can't excuse it. Here's Diaw. Hangs in midair and converts on the double clutch layup. That's outstanding hang time improvisation right there. And it's Wade penetrating. Poke loose. And here comes Bellinelli leading the fast break. The fast break ends at the rim with a jam. Boy, I love it. Active hands on the steel, active feet on the fast break. And Clark Power on the dunk. And guys, this is just too close of a game to be giving the ball up like that and then failing to get back in transition. Here's Odin. And that's out of bounds. Miami will retain possession. And the Heat making a change here. Battier's checked in. About a minute and a half into the fourth quarter now. Here's Wade. And two free throws coming up as he misses that one. Drawing the whistle and a lot of contact there. Wade seems to be slowing down just a touch. And the, the, the difficulty as you get older, when you're not a great jump shooter, which Wade is not, is that the defenses will back off you. And that's the big challenge now for Dwayne Wade, adjusting to that newer style of defense that he's going to be looking at. Ray Allen has checked in for Miami. And Steve, you go back to the strong output for Dwayne Wade last season for the fourth time. In his career, he averaged over 20 points and five rebounds and five assists. Again, Clark, one of only four points in the league last season to hit that mark. And Kevin, he led all shooting guards and player efficiency rating for the fifth consecutive season. Some might argue, but the numbers speak truth. He's the best shooting guard in the game. And we're around two minutes into the fourth quarter here. Kicks to Joseph. He feeds it to Bellinelli. And it's off from three-point range. The Heat have gone one of three from the field to start the fourth quarter. He dishes it to Cole. That falls. Nice speed that time from Dwayne Wade. You know what? That's what you like to see. A perfect pass leading him right into the shot. Didn't even have to break stride. Now, here's Joseph, defended by Cole. And it goes as the official calls the foul. Count it. He'll shoot one more at the free throw line. Gotta love the finger roll up and over the defense. The Spurs making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. And what an amazing run it was for the Spurs last year in the postseason. You know, swept the Lakers, uh, survived Golden State, and then dismantled Memphis on their way to the NBA Finals. And then, of course, uh, were seconds away from another championship. And Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That's how you do it. Find a gap in the defense and attack that rim with force. He is so good at doing just that. Maybe as good as anybody. Just so athletic and strong. It's back to Battier. Allen kicks to Anderson. And he makes good on the layup. Now, getting back to the Spurs, they look better and better as they went deeper into the playoffs. Clark, Heat were thought to be the heavy favorites at the start of the NBA postseason. But when they met in the finals, uh, thoughts on who would win, I think, were pretty much split. Yeah, and eventually, you know, this was one heck of a series because the Spurs not only had experience and talent, but they had multiple options offensively and did such a terrific job sharing the ball. They took the Miami Heat to the limit, but at the end of the day, it came down to LeBron James and Dwayne Wade rising to the challenge. And a little over three and a half minutes in the books so far here in the fourth. And Joseph kicks to Leonard. Feeds it to Joseph. Spurs working the ball around now. Leonard on the wing. Let's it go with a three. And that one's good. Leonard's got five points in the quarter. You can't leave him alone, especially from long range. And Cole kicks to Anthony. With the lead pass. Allen. And it's sent back by Bonham. And here's Joseph. 
Out of bounds. Miami takes possession. The Heat have gone four of eight in this fourth quarter, shooting an even 50% from the field. Battier, he's covered by Leonard. Battier kicks to Cole. Now the pass to Anderson. Shoots from the block. San Antonio with the rebound. Diaz got three rebounds now in this one. There's the feed to Joseph. The dish to Bellinelli. Outside Leonard. Fires from deep. No good. And the Heat go on the other way now. Anderson kicks to Battier. Lays it up and in off a pretty assist. What a smooth finish. Well, he's certainly the one they want on the end of those breaks. He always finishes strong. Pass to Bellinelli. He kicks to Joseph. Dishes it to Bellinelli. Passes to Diaw. He feeds it to Bellinelli. Five to shoot. Good, and it's Diaw with the assist that time. Well, the fans already heading for the exits. Clearly not pleased with the way their home team played here today. And they shouldn't be pleased. I mean, it's a very well-deserved win, Steve. They came into this building and weren't intimidated at all. They were the aggressors. And a terrific